G'day folks, welcome back to another episode of The Bush TV. Well I'm off again and I'm heading over to the other side of the ranges to check out a hut that I haven't seen in quite a number of years. Things don't go to plan, so I end up camping in a pristine little spot down at the Jamison River. After that, I head off to Mitchell's flat to check out the underground gorge. Absolutely spectacular. From there, I head up to the old slate mine where things don't go to plan, but you'll have to check out episode two to see what happens. Sit back and relax and enjoy the Bush TV. This episode is proudly supported by Sign Shop Australia, the La Cola Caravan Park, YV Sheds and Barns, and Admiral Towing. All right, it is that time of day. It is midday. It is time for me to get my lunch out of the fridge. And it's the good old pizza trick under the bonnet. So just before I actually put it under the bonnet, uh, obviously I pull it out of the fridge for a little bit, maybe, you know, half an hour to let it come up to a sort of car temperature, room temperature, whatever you want to call it. And uh, then we'll uh, stop up the road here, get a bit of firewood, throw that under the bonnet for a good half an hour. And there's my lunch. Okay. So I've got three nice bits of pizza there. It's uh, my favourite Mexicana. It's a pretty good pizza and uh, it's going to go down well. Let's bring it out. Let's hit the track and get the firewood and cook my lunch under the bonnet. Well, pizza's in the oven. It's time to get a bit of firewood, have a bit of lunch, and hit that track. And we're off down to the Mount Sunday Road to my nice little spot on the Jamison River. I'm gonna have a bit of a fly fish in there. Hopefully we catch some nice trout and sit back and relax and have a beautiful camp. Okay, so Center Ridge Road. I'm pretty sure that's what this is called. It's far from a road. You can see right there that this track is way overgrown. Now, Back in 2000, October 2000, a helicopter, a couple of guys in a helicopter came flying. They got lost up from Melbourne to Canberra and they hit the side of Mount Skeen. It was just down there somewhere, up at the track junction up the top on the Skeen Road. There used to be a helicopter blade hanging out of a tree and that you could, no one sort of knew what it was. I've come down here in the past about 20 years ago and walked down and you can see there's a couple of crosses on the side of the track and things like a little memorial for these two guys so yeah it was quite a long time ago october 2000s and uh, not a lot of people know about it so flying from melbourne to canberra they uh, hit bad weather 
and they didn't make a flight report so no one knew where they were they were looking for about five days and then they got discovered up here just just about to call off the search and they got discovered just up here where they hit Mount Skeen so and a bit of a tragic story uh, up here on that one so yeah Whoever said it was easy work, got it all wrong. Anyways, we've got the wood, so always get my wood up in the high plains. It's just better wood. So anyways, we've got the wood. I'm going to have some lunch, and I'm going to head down to this spot and finally crack myself a can. It's hard work. All right. My pizza's ready. From my under the bonnet travel buddy <laughs> some of you might disagree but anyway i don't have like a cargo barrier to install one of those just yet i might put one in one day you never know the old mexicana it's going to do the trick i'm going to sit here do that the wood's loaded on the roof rack so I'll take it easy down the track get to my spot and um crack myself a nice froth it's pretty hot so tip is about 35 degrees here at the moment and uh, it's pretty hard work in the heat, so kick back, eat this, and then hit the track. Last time I did this track was in 2010 and um, back then I know the track was a little bit like it had a lot of bog holes and things so and it was a little bit more rougher than the usual like the Mount Sunday Road just there it's caravan material but this is should be a different ball game uh, it might not be it might be very easy I don't even know uh, if the hut's still there last time I was there well, I've been there twice. One time the hut was in perfect condition. The second time there'd been a mudslide. The hut was filled with mud. Uh, I heard the hut's gone. So we're going to go and find out. Um, so I'll get out now and lock it in and head up this track and see how it goes. This track could turn interesting at any minute. I just came through the seasonal gate. This is not a very used track at all.
Okay, so one of the other times I came in here, same thing sort of happened. I've got a tree down across the track. I'm going to go for a bit of a walk to see if this is accessible, otherwise I'm not going to bother cutting the tree. I'm not too far from where the track drops down towards the spot, so like I said, it's a pretty bit of an interesting sort of trip on the way in. Um, it's not as bad as what it was, but it's a lot of sort of clay. Anyways, I'm going for a bit of a walk. Got my emergency beacon with me, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's getting late. About 3.30, quarter to four or something like that, so pushing for time. I'm pretty hot. Um, it's been a big day. I've been in the saddle since 8.30 this morning, so I'm keen to get a spot. Let's go and have a look. So as you can see, I'm watching for snakes here. It is blocked a bit. I mean, I can get around that bit. Probably just move a couple of things with the other one. It's an easy cut, but I don't want to waste my time. There's more up here. So let's go for a walk. Check it out. I've got the wrong shoes on at the moment. I haven't changed them. Should be right. There's another log down here. That's not an issue either, really. I mean, if I can't, I've still got to be able to turn around, so I'll have a look. Probably turn around back there a bit. I mean, I could have flown the drone in, but considering I'm that close, I don't think it was worth it. Joe Blakes, haven't seen one yet. Uh, I did walk this track once at night time. I had a breakdown and uh, up there I snapped a CV and walked it at night, came back in. Yeah, snapped a CV and my winch failed. Bloody hell, I'm looking for snakes. Hopefully this is the track junction down. Okay, it is the track junction down. have a look all depending on what happens here There's more stuff it's not that bad it's only really a five minute walk so that's not too bad um, we'll just keep going and get to the bottom if it's only that there and it's a good spot down here I'll do it if it's overgrown and there's a whole lot of crap down here, I'll turn around and I might get in late, so I might go to Wren's flat tonight. But uh, we'll go down and have a look anyway. A bit still Wren's flats on the river. <laughs> oh, there's something going on in the bushes. Tell you what, I might put the camera down for a minute, just get down this track. Keep my eyes peeled because uh, I don't want to step on something that I don't want to step on. Okay, I finally made the bottom and wow, has it changed. I've seen it's changed. The hut is still here. Wow. I might give this one a miss. Look, the river access is gone. It was right there. It was there. All those fans are grown. I actually got bogged in there once. I drove down here and I got bogged in there. Um, yeah, that's a shame. Well, the hut's still there. Check that out. This is Silverwater Hut. Um, yeah, so I've camped here a couple of times before. Someone's put Sweetwater Lodge and Silverwater Hut. Um, this could easily be cleared. I mean, not today. Yeah, so. These blackberries have already got me once today. And there it is. 
out. Well, that's it. I think I will give this spot a miss. Saves me like, probably take about an hour or more to clear um, that spot, that track anyway. So this little track coming down is pretty overgrown, but um, that doesn't matter so much. I mean, yeah, good track in the wet. It's all that clay stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna walk back now and turn the vehicle around somehow so whew, camera down and uh gonna walk back to the vehicle pushing up there that's why i take this guys and if it happens down here and you don't have that i don't have my phone there's no service anyway even a uhf handheld down here You'd be dead, seriously. Something you got bitten by brown here. You're not gonna make it back to the car. So emergency beacon. Pull it out, pull the pin, and I'll come anyway. Wow, this track's pretty good walk. Oh I've still gotta turn the car around somehow, so I might even end up cutting that first one and then just driving through because just after that there's a spot where it opens up a tiny bit so yeah anyway that way that's a dead end I'm pretty sure once I went down there and you know I think we went all the way to the end nothing there Okay, reverse it back and turn around here. Pretty sure. Saves me cutting any trees down. Um, I've reversed this car back on a bloody dime before, so let's just, might just have a look. Let's get out and suss it out quick. Because I know I can do this, so yeah, I can turn around here easy enough. Turn around, I'm pretty hot. Might get a drink out first one of those Gatorades or whatever it is in the back I'm sweating like a bloody pig here so I might just do that first and then turn around and get out of here try Wren's flat, let's have a look, hopefully no one's there if someone's there I'm pushing right down, I'm going to push down to Mitchell's flat um, and there's plenty of room down there here's daylight savings, I just can't muck around so right, let's hit the track, let's get out of here So as you can see, I turned it round and got through those couple little bog holes. Someone said to me today, why is your car not pinstriped? It's too clean. And um, told them to have a closer look. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do take it away, we do pinstripe it, and we do get a mess of it. So anyways, I'm nearly out of this track now. It's what, 4.17? What a mission. Anyway, we're out, just about, and uh, there's the gate right there, seasonal shut gates. What does that say? There's a sign on it. It says something different, I didn't read it, but it was open. All right, I'm going to get out, go to Bren's, have a look. And um, it's a well-deserved beer and a beer and a rest for me. So, hope you're enjoying the Bush TV so far. Okay, finally, finally I have a spot. Um, I have camped here in the past, back in 2014 or 13, I think, maybe something like that. 
it's uh, obviously changed since then as it always does look it's not a bad spot it's just on the other side of Wren's flat it's a little bit more gnarlier to get in than sort of over there so um, yeah there's a couple of sections in there that are a bit sort of bad if it does get wet but no issue so this is the spot for the night nice and simple tonight I'm not even going to roll out the awning it's hot um, so I'm going to just keep it very simple just going to roll out the swag somewhere down there or wherever so there's no widow makers I've had a good look around it looks pretty good so um, the river's just down there I might go down there and uh have a bit of a look so yeah let's go sort of getting a little bit on the late side there's even a bit of wood here so I might even just use that and leave my wood on the roof rack because I can just that saves me getting wood tomorrow so I'll just retie it down and uh it should be okay up there like for this wallet is done it hasn't moved so I'll just have a look at it Retention if I have to and it should be right right now. I'm just going to go down to this river and um, There's a few flies around yeah, and uh, have a bit of a Maybe a bit of a wash. It's pretty hot Tell you what, it's beautiful. I reckon I've got about an hour and a half. That's it, before it starts to get a bit dark. Like I said before, it's only going to be a very simple night. It's been too much of a big day. Um, the plan was to get here in about two and a half hours, but it's taken ridiculous amount of time probably it's taken me started at 8 30 so about 4 30 so eight hours or something like that so yeah it's time for a break like well, that's just beautiful that water there's a couple of good little spots in here just down there on the other side there's another spot it's taken someone's there half their luck anyway the spot up there is pretty good. Look, it's not right on the river. And if I had got here a little bit early, or earlier, uh, I've got a fly fishing rod now, so I would have had a bit of a fish with a fly. A good little river, so probably would have walked just down there a bit. Or maybe just back up there a bit, because it's a bit of a hole just up there. I tell you, I was tempted to go in, but then we'll see how we go. I could probably go up and get a, a frothy and come down. It wouldn't be a bad thing, but then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Tomorrow, I head out of here. We go and check out Mitchell's homestead. And there, we go and have a look at an underground gorge. I haven't been in there since 2002. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't been to this spot since 2014. So, yeah, I haven't done the Mount Sunday Road up there since 2009. So, anyways, the whole area here, I haven't been here for a while. So yeah, we'll go check out Mitchell's, we'll go and check out the, the gorge, and then we drive out through the slate mine, and so on. So yeah, we check out Tunnel Bend and things like that, go down 16 mile Jeep track to Binderee, and uh, we'll move on from there. So that's the second night down there somewhere, maybe Pikes Flat or Binderee Hut, I'll see how we go. Shouldn't be too much of a hard day tomorrow, not like today. 
Uh, that track going in there to Silverwater Hut was a little bit of a, it took a bit of time. So anyways, I'm taking a break. I'm gonna have a frothy and um, yeah, it's well deserved. So, I might even go in there, I don't know yet. We'll see, it's getting a bit late. So I've got to sort of set up camp first and then uh, see how we go. First thing is first, and you know it. It's a hard-earned one, and I don't drink that beer. But I'm deserving this one, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm just glad I'm back in the bush. I can kick back. I'd stay for a couple of days if I could, but um, this trip is a big one i'm out for seven nights so this is day one or night one day one night one so yeah it's going to be a good one so uh yeah strap yourself in i'm going to just uh relax for a minute and then we'll get the swag set up just behind you over there um there's a bit of wood here like i said before which i'm pretty happy about right there so the wood on my roof rack can stay there i would say until tomorrow which saves me a lot of trouble because where i'm going in tomorrow it's going to be hard to get it so don't you laugh at me they've laughed at me before and i got wet so i'm not pulling out the awning tonight anyway it looks pretty good it's not going to be a big fire it's just enough to cook on because it's quite kind of warm so <clears throat> just cook on the fire tonight kick back for a little bit and I'm um, running on about three hours sleep last night, so won't have a big one. I'll just relax, kick back, have a couple of froths, hit the sack, and then have a nice fresh start tomorrow. Because tomorrow, like I said, is it going to be a good one? Mitchell's track, Mitchell's homestead, the underground gorge, if I can get down there with the camera, out through Mitchell's track on the other side of a slate mine, all the way to the Tobacco Flat, Fry's Hut, the Hauka track, Sheepyard up all the way we'll go and check out tunnel bend then we'll go up and we'll get 16 mile jeep track head down have a look at pike flat of a camp there or we'll camp at binderee i don't know yet maybe binderee it's a little bit closer to where i'm going so stay tuned you'll see where i'm going there's got there's quite a lot on this one so it's a good trip Tell you what, day one, and I'm already bloody dirty. So yeah, it's good to take a five minute break just to relax into this whole bush atmosphere. There's a couple of real nice crimson rosellas just up there in that tree. They're both there, male, female, just sitting there. I don't know if you can see them over there. So this is the type of thing I like to do when I get away. I just sit here. And enjoy this. That's it. This is what I call bush TV.
So fire is going. We got the fire going. There's bugs everywhere. Bugs. I just like, ate a bug then. Uh, we're going to get some coals going and uh, cook up something simple tonight. I'll go through the fridge. I've got like seven days worth of food in there. So something nice and easier. Maybe some snags or something like that with some coleslaw and pasta salad. Or well, just easy. So. It's just been a big day, so yeah, I just want to have it easy tonight. Tomorrow, hopefully, it won't be as big. So let's set up this swag, let's get that going there, and uh, we'll kick back a bit and get some coals and throw on the frying pan. Looking forward to some tucker. Oh, she's pretty hot. Tell you what, guys. Might have to go back down to that river, I reckon. The fire's going there. We're going to keep it going nice and slow. Uh, we don't need to give it heaps. We just want to give it some coals so I can throw on the frying pan. And uh, we're right. So I'm set up. All I've got to do is set up the swag or inside. That's pretty much it. Um, that's it. The sun is slowly going down, as you can see there. The fire is going to be sort of nice and smouldering there just to get some coals. I'm it's time for me to kick back, seriously. I'm just, I've had a big day. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful spot here. Uh, yeah, if you want to come in, where I started off in La Cola, I mean, you didn't have to do that track I just did before, but you can come straight over to La Cola Road and uh, drop down Mount Sunday Road. Come into Wren's Flat if it's a good time of the year and or midweek. You should be right on the other side of the river. I mean, this side's a bit more quiet, no doubt. It's a bit more harder to get in over there. So, but yeah, it's a good spot. If you don't mind camping sort of near people, which are over there, yeah, it's a good spot. Then you can come in, go through Mitchell's, down yeah, Mitchell's track, have a look at the homestead and head out to wherever you want because you're on the other side of the ranges. You can do a variety of trips. You could stay in sheep yard. You could go up to eight mile, seven mile flat, stay there in the camp spots. You could walk in the Richie's hut. You could, from there, go up to either Bindaree, go the other way, and go to Bluff Hut, Lovex Hut, go across the range down King Billy to the Howard Road and do a full lap and back to La Cola. Or you could go Maroka Road and then down Billy Goats and then head up in Dargo. So. Um, I'm taking a different route. Uh, I am going to do Son of a Bitch Track, Mountain Ash Track, the Knobs Track. That's off the Brooks Road. So, yeah, there's like six nights before I even consider hitting the Knobs Track. So, it's going to be good. Then, my last night, I will be camping down where the two Buckley River East and... It could be, or it could be north and south, or something like that. I have to look at the map. The two branches meet the one, and they make the Barkley River. I'll cross the river there. It's just where Son of a Bitch Track or Mountain Ash Track down there. Anyway, so there's a spot there that I want to check out. I've never been there before. Hopefully, it's good, because I mean, these things don't go to plan, as you can see. I was meant to be staying at Silverwater Hut tonight in the area. I mean, I could have done it, right? I could have done it, but... Yeah, maybe... I'll tell you what we might do with that. I might um, plan a trip in there. And obviously the track isn't maintained. So we might... I might get in, clear some stuff with someone else. Whoever else wants to come. Well, I um, might get my mate. He might come in his hundred. And, but then we've got to put in... There's a lot of blackberries around, so... 
we've got to sort of cut them back and make the spot a spot again. Like it was a good spot. And then the river down there, the Jamison River down there is beautiful. It's absolutely pristine, except it's grown over. So that could be another trip, a couple of maybe people, good plan and see what happens. So right now, I'm going to sit down for a minute and then yeah, I might, might go down to the river and have a bit, bit of a quick rinse off before it gets too dark and freshen up and uh, relax, cook some tucker, chill out and go from there. Tell you what, a lot of people like these travel buddies and all this type of stuff, but I'll tell you something. With me, hear those black cockies in the background. I love cooking on coals. The fire, it's just something about it. I don't know if it makes it taste better, but it certainly makes you appreciate it. All right, it is, like I said, the most basic meal, no gravy, nothing. So we got some dead horse on there, and yes, I put a lot on because I'm going to spread that out through the five sausages. So, like I said, basic meal. It's done. I'm going to sit in over there around that fire. I've got a couple of cans down there in the river, taking the edge off because I've got about two left. Um, I might not even drink them, but anyway, they're there. I'll take the edge off anyway and throw them in the fridge. Enjoy this meal. And then tomorrow, we head out up Mitchell's track to Mitchell's Flat. Check out the gorge, check out the slate mine. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching the Bush TV. Hope everyone's enjoying it. Nothing wrong with the old dead horse, right? Okay, folks, that brings this episode to an end. Now stay tuned for the next one as I head out of Wren's Flat and head out to the Mitchells Homestead to check out that underground gorge. From there we head up to the Slate Mine and then head all the way down to Tobacco Flat. What happens there though is a little bit unexpected but you'll have to stay tuned for that episode to see what happens. Things don't go to plan but I do push on. So I'll see you there, stay safe and stay tuned and thanks for watching The Bush TV. Anyways, Jamison, oh, so they always roll me ankle into that. Jamison and <sighs> swallow the fly. Well, I didn't quite, but anyway. Bit of behind the scenes. Real funny, I was up at Trig Point in Blue Rag Range and I was doing the video. And uh one of the times I grabbed my hat real quick to do a video and went like this. Can anyone see what's wrong? Let me know, because someone did on Trick Point. Anyone a sticker. <laughs>